Each week, U.S. Bank brings us stories of athletes who have overcome adversity in their lives to become future leaders. Robert, time after time, Raquel Bowles was told because of her birth injury, she could never be great at synchronized swimming. And boy, did she prove them wrong. Meet Raquel, our U.S. Bank future leader. At just 17 years old, Raquel Bowles travels around the world, competing in international synchronized swimming competitions. A spectacular feat for an athlete who swims without the use of one side of her upper body. I have limited range of motion in my arm and shoulder. Raquel has Herb's palsy. A birth injury caused her left shoulder and arm to be partially paralyzed. She was introduced to water therapy as a way to build strength. I was told when I was a kid I, wasn't, I won't ever be capable of using it like my other arm. And so that kind of being told what I couldn't do didn't work for me, you know. When I started synchronized swimming, it became like a therapy for my arm and it helped me expand my range of motion and really kind of adapt with my disability and work with it. Raquel fell in love with the sport, so she began to compete. When I first started synchronized swimming, I was, I think, no, I'm very sure. I was the worst on the team for like two or three years. It wasn't enough for Raquel to simply compete, no. Raquel wanted to win, so she spent countless hours in the pool perfecting the craft. I was so fed up with being told of what I couldn't do, not just by my doctors, but by some of my old coaches who didn't believe in me and said that, you know, why are you even doing synchronous swimming? This is totally not your niche. There they go again telling Raquel what she couldn't do. So again, she sought to prove them wrong, and she did so by taking home gold medals in national and international competitions. But this time, she decided to fight not only for herself, but for all disabled synchronized swimmers. Synchronized Swimming for Athletes with Disabilities was an organization and nonprofit we started a couple of years ago to really advocate for synchronized swimmers that have physical and uh, cognitive disabilities because we found over the years that people in synchronized swimming that do have disabilities are very underrepresented. And so we thought that, you know, that was a problem that needed to get fixed. That was a, and we needed to come up with a solution that helps keep the sport inclusive. Like a light switch just turned on and she said, I suppose I'm not the only one uh, with this issue, so I'm going to open the doors for everybody. The organization's biggest goal is to make synchronized swimming a Paralympic sport for the 2028 Olympics. On a smaller scale, Raquel and her family formed a club in the Bay Area which welcomes disabled and able-bodied athletes. Ready? She helps coach the team. You don't, you, know, you don't decide that you want to be born with a disability, and so your whole life you're going to get stuck with something that you know, is qualified and is, people tell you it's a disability, but I think my goal with this team was to make people believe that their disability is an ability. Raquel says she plans to spend her life convincing those who are told they can't that they truly can. If synchro is approved as a Paralympic sport, Raquel's goal is to compete a couple of times, bring home some medals, and then be a lifelong coach. Yeah, she's outstanding. Great that she's doing that so more people can get involved. Yes. Yeah, absolutely.